It was all about big hair and wild imaginations for the 2015 Fantasy Hair Show with One Beauty Academy. 14 students put their new skills to the test for this semi-annual showcase. We always tell them to go big, big fantasy hair projects. Um, just, yeah, like work on hair for hours and hours and um, come up with different themes and then kind of just showcase it to friends and family. And theme whatever they want to pick. Usually, um, it sometimes seems to be similar, sometimes are completely different. Like we've had Cat in the Hat in the Bass, we've had Ursula, we've had, what else have we had? We've had like Dragons, we've had Alice in Wonderland, and yeah, just recurring themes mostly. The reason why I chose it is like, um, I've been a part of ballet in Schwanavin uh, for 15 years, so Black Swan kind of like, is like a part of me, I guess. It really like spoke to me, so that's kind of why I chose it. The title is Egyptian Immortal. It's inspired just kind of everyone, um, mainly Hathor. She's like a goddess of like, beauty and stuff like that, so I kind of used her inspiration and went with that. There's actually a hard hat under there, which you can't see, so that's what's attaching it to her head, and there's some, um, yeah, just lots of glue and chicken wire and all sorts of stuff to kind of make a base for it and then cover it in hair. Um, well, it's Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Um, I came up with it just from one of the quotes from Little Mermaid that Ursula said, and it was, Ursula's gonna take matters into her own tentacles. Um, I'm struggling with some health problems in my family, so I decided to take matters into my own hands, and that's why I chose Ursula. It's hard work. It, it really is, because you set something up, and then all of a sudden, it doesn't work out. Like, just last week, it wasn't working out, and I had to shorten things and put things back together, and it's a lot of work. It really is. When they start with us here at the Academy, they do um, get warned ahead of time when the fantasy show is, so then they have all that time till then um, to kind of work on their fantasy. Months of planning and hours of design and styling later, the students and their models hit the runway to show off their new creations. I mean, it kind of lets you like step outside your box and like think, I guess, like I said, like outside your box, so it's not what you usually are used to doing, so it kind of makes you think like more creatively and think more than what you like know. It gets a lot of stress and a lot of hard work from all the staff and students and just seeing it just for that one night up on the stage is just amazing. That's the best part. The relief that it's all done but it's actually done so amazingly. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Christy Pick.